Well, it's that time again. There's a brand new trailer for a Sims 4 expansion pack. To be honest, I really didn't expect this so soon after Werewolves. Like what, that was only a few weeks ago? Yeah, literally at this point in time, it was two weeks ago that it came out. I did not expect we were getting an announcement of an expansion pack two weeks later. So I may have invested a little too heavily in my Let's Play of Werewolves because I thought it'd have to go longer. <laughs> but that's a bridge we'll cross when we come to it. But right now, we're gonna watch the brand new trailer. And if you wanna watch the trailer without my reaction, I'll link it down below so you can watch it in its entirety. But this is my first time. I can I can say with 100% certainty, this is my very first time seeing this trailer. And I did not build any lots uh, in this world or expansion. So I have no involvement at all with this expansion, unlike werewolves, where I had to choose my words very carefully in the reaction trailer. This one is gonna be all pure speculation. Let's go. All right, play. Okay. Oh, they looks like they got proms. Oh, wait, was that like a pier with like a, a Ferris wheel or something? Ooh. High school years expansion. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they actually have a high school lockers hallways. It also looks like kind of like maybe customized different high school. Oh my gosh, there's actually classrooms. Okay, this could potentially be super cool. <laughs> Socially awkward romantic. Okay. I also really uh, got the pronouns going on here as well, which is really nice to see. Okay. I'm excited to... Oh my gosh. Okay, so they got like a little sort of coffee shop kind of thing. Or maybe some retail going on? Detention? Ooh, that looks cool. Cheerleaders and like a hole on oval. Football. Oh, the hottie. Yeah. Dang! <gasps> okay, yeah, that was what I saw. Okay, that looks sick. This... Man, I hope the gameplay's good. <laughs> that, okay, I got the little photo booth making a comeback. That was a classic item in all other Sims games. Also, hang on, he had arm hair, so we must be getting the body hair before this expansion pack. Is that a haunted house at the pier as well? Also, that bed is very nice. This looks sick. At very first glance. Oh, yep, yeah, like hair. <laughs> yeah, so definite body hair coming with this. And they said body hair would be a base game update too. Promposals? Oh my gosh. This, the drama. The rejections we're gonna see. <laughs> Will you go to prom with me? Ah, oh, shaving. I know, well, actually, I don't shave that much. <laughs> also, yeah, oh my gosh, you can sneak out of the windows. Also, just the fact that the window opened. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that's probably a, sing a specific window though, right? Okay, this, man, this trailer just keeps going. <laughs> this is sick. Okay, so prom is clearly a big thing in this pack. I hope that there's uh, some cool stuff to do there too. Oh, prom king! Oh, the, the prom, I don't know, jester? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so I'm getting on the juice. I don't think they should be doing, oh, pillow fighting! Let's go! Slumber parties are probably gonna make a comeback then, right? <laughs> Ah, graduation as well, very nice. Ooh, okay, the, the the glimpses of the world look sick. Shine bright. Hang on, hang on, pause. Oh, no, I thought that was a release date. No, it just says bye by September 8th to get... Oh, <laughs> I, I thought that said vibrating streamer chat. Good lord. Sorry, it's late. It's late here in Australia, so... No, it says vibing. Okay, so this is what they did. Hang my head's in the way, sorry. I'll go up here for a second. So this is what they did with uh, Cottage Living, where if you bought the expansion pack by a certain date, you got exclusive items. Um, and with Cottage Living, you got, it was like a bicycle with the flowers on the front. There was like a gnome, I think. And was it the tree? There was like some tree. That's not the release date. That'll be sometime after the release date. So I think it gives you like, what, from this point, I guess probably a couple months after release or something to buy it which I don't know how I feel about that just because it's one of those things that they will never let you get ever again down the line. So then they're just gone. It's kind of like the family portrait 
uh, that you could get in The Sims 4 when they released. I think it was like The Sims Free Play on mobile, and if you downloaded it, you could get it in The Sims 4. I never did that because I didn't want to download the free play because you had to give them your mobile number and all that stuff. And now I can never get that family portrait. So I don't know how I feel about this kind of thing, but it is what it is, I guess. July 28th, there is a release date. High school years expansion. I I'm kind of surprised they didn't just call it high school, but I, I guess high school years, sure. I guess maybe that means it's not just one specific element of high school, because I guess like, they showed, well, at least the guy spinning a football on his finger. Anyway, let let's have a look into more of this. But first impressions, that honestly looks sick. <laughs> if a lot of this gameplay is applicable outside of actually going to school, which it seems like they've made an effort to do that, then it should be pretty fun. All right, so we've got the fact sheet here. High school years expansion pack. Tagline, live your high school dreams. All right, let's have a look at what's going on. Class in session, be a good or bad student. Join after school activities, explore aesthetics, start trends, find your identity, and make the most of being a teenager with the Sims 4 high school years expansion. All right. Navigate iconic teenage experiences like attending prom, pulling pranks, mm, okay. Now, I don't need any more Sims pranking my toilets. So I'm hoping <laughs> these pranks are a little bit more in depth than uh, the base game, <laughs> Mischief Pranks. <laughs> Experimenting with identity and trends. Now that's interesting because the Sims recently had the pronoun update, which is fantastic. And obviously it seems like they're trying to incorporate more of your identity and who you are into the actual Sim. So hopefully there's more representation coming from that aspect, but it'll be interesting to see how that works because typically The Sims has always just been however you play the game. Like there's no specific, I guess, identity actually assigned to each Sim, but it seems like they're trying to give players that experience through the game. So it'd be interesting to see how they do it. So yeah, experimenting with identity and trends and forming friendships and rivalries at extracurricular events. There's a lot to do before graduation. Teen Sims can attend class, interact with teachers, and even earn money as style influencers or streamers. See, okay, that's interesting too, because that's already a thing in, well, City Living had what? Was it influencers? And then obviously Get Famous, you could, you got the video creation station so you can become a YouTuber. So I'm curious to what the difference with that is. Yeah, I don't know. That just sounds like what we already have, but I guess we'll find out. All right, let's have a look at the key features. So there's a four top level things we're gonna find out. Experience high school, experience all the ups and downs of high school, attend classes in person. Now I hope, first of all, that's very cool. Very cool. Uh, people have been wanting that for a long time. But having said that, I hope we don't have to attend classes in person all the time. I assume not. It would probably be an option like the active careers because if you had to do it all the time, it'd get very tedious, but it'd be cool to go every so often. And hopefully they actually make the classes themselves more interactive than just sitting in a chair and watching a sim there for like a few hours. But yeah, I'd be really interested in that because that's pretty cool. It looked cool in the trailer anyway. Get to know your teachers, hang out in the cafeteria and even decorate your locker. Your most treasured moments might happen while loitering around with your friends after school. I mean, it sounds very cool. <laughs> Iconic teen moments. Dance the night away at prom and celebrate your graduation ceremony with friends and family. I'm not sure why I read that back to front, but anyway. If you keep up with your schoolwork, oh my gosh, you can flunk out of high school. Wait, so what happens if we don't graduate, but we age up? Can, can I be an adult in high school? <laughs> Cause that'd be sick. In addition to those big moments, Sims can make lifelong friends, be asked out by other teens, participate in after school activities and teams and experience the roller coaster of puberty. <laughs> I don't know why I said puberty so loud. I was actually more excited by the word roller coaster. <laughs> but I guess that just means that I'm sure our, our, our emotions will be whack. Obviously it looks like you have to start shaving and learn to shave. So that could be kind of fun little uh, experience. I wonder if they'll bring back like actual acne through gameplay as well, rather than just like the decorative stuff and create a sim. So I like the idea of the lifelong friends. So I'm hoping that's probably a thing where maybe your relationship just doesn't degrade over time. That'd be nice. Um, I also really like you can be asked out by other teens, which is really cool because more often than not in The Sims 4, when you're playing, not too much happens to you from the game, but the ability for other sims to ask my sim out i think presents a lot of fun opportunities for like different gameplay whether we reject them or accept them and have a really awkward date you know like i think there's some fun gameplay there so here's hoping and then the after school activities and teams sounds fun hopefully there's some cool sporting options we can do all right shake things up oh okay well we don't need that anyway there's no sound 
Okay, we'll, we'll leave it there. <laughs> High school is a time of self-discovery. Find the confidence and ask your crush out or the guts to skip class. Don't let the principal catch. Oh my gosh. Is there going to be like a mini game where we have to like run away from the teacher <laughs> from the principal? Okay, I like the idea of skipping class. Here. That sounds fun. Uh, teen sims will explore their own likes and dislikes and have new opportunities to cause mischief. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder then... Obviously through gameplay, you'll get pop-ups saying if your sim likes or dislikes things. I wonder if they'll expand on that at all through gameplay, where they may like something and then, you know, you sort of encourage that more directly rather than just pop-ups at random times. And have new opportunities to cause mischief. Pranks and sneaking out after dark can have consequences. So be careful you don't get caught. That's pretty cool. We're definitely gonna be sneaking out. <laughs> and finally, our last key point, explore your style. Make your bedroom your own, plan outfits with clothes designed by Depop sellers. Wait, what? Is this a collaboration with Depop? Cause that's like an actual thing, right? And become a Simfluencer, all right. Yeah, Depop is an actual thing, it's a, it's a company. So I wonder if they're actually like collaborating with it. Cause normally it'd be called like Simpop or something, you know? Huh. And also make your bedroom your own, I mean, I don't know what the difference will be there versus what we have now in build mode. So uh, that'll be interesting if that's gameplay or just like literally, they're just saying, yeah, enter build mode. <laughs> Teen Sims can earn money by selling outfits and hyping up looks they design on trendy right from their bedrooms, which are now more interactive than ever. Wait, the bedrooms are more interactive? Hello. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. No, cut it, cut it. <laughs> Use a laptop, read a book in bed. Oh, you can read in bed and even have a pillow fight. Okay, so it looks like there's more stuff to do in the bedroom, if you know what I mean. And by that, I mean using a laptop or read a book in bed. I wonder if that means use a laptop in bed, because that's cool, that is cool. And I wonder how the uh, hyping up looks they design works. I assume you enter create a sim, put an outfit together, then do some interactions and hopefully get popularity. I mean, there's opportunity for completely whack outfits. <laughs> all right, so those are all our key features and uh, the release date is July 28th and that's all the information I have here. All right, I do have a few official screenshots as well that we can look at. So obviously this is the high school or potentially one of them because it did look like there was a few different designs. So I am wondering how that works. We'll have a closer look at the trailer again in a minute. But obviously we've got cheerleaders. We've got some guy on the football team. And I guess this is like the logo because this guy's also wearing that. New statue out the front. Um, just seeing, we've got new wallpapers and windows. Looking pretty cool. I do really like this sort of art deco uh, detailing on the top there. Let's have a little zoom in. I am gonna guess that's a teacher there. That's a nerd or maybe a cool guy. I don't know what universe we're living in. <laughs> so that's the front of the school then we've got ooh a prom night let's go now I don't really know anything about fashion or creator sim but I assume there's a lot of new outfits here so enjoy if you are looking at this and in and really taking it in <laughs> that I'm gonna be honest looks like someone spiked it like what is why is that lime green that looks dangerous <laughs> and there's the photo booth in the background there as well we saw on the trailer <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, so it totally looks like, this is what I was saying, it totally looks like they actually have like an acne thing in game again, which is actually kind of fun because that was something in Sims 3, right? Maybe 2 as well, I don't remember. But yeah, we got to look at the hallways. We've got, it looks like a banner for, I don't know, what would, like, you know, career day or something like that. I don't know, it kind of looks like that. A trophy cage, a, a trophy cage, yeah, a cage. <laughs> a trophy display. There's like a cap, a few awards back there. <laughs> Your locker has been pranked bad. Real bad, dude. <laughs> There's also a vending machine in the back, so it looks like maybe new vending machines there. Um, football on the ground. Very nice. It looks pretty cool. And last screenshot that I have. Oh my god, wait. Can you sit in the window like that? Because that is sick. I don't know if they're like mid-animation. And they just like pause the game right there, but that that's cool if you can sit there. Yeah, it kind of looks like I'm gonna guess that this is the the breakout window. Like you probably have to use this window if you want your Sims to sneak out through it, which is fine. But it would have been nice to have a whole window update. Though I shouldn't speak too soon because maybe they will be. I don't know. Um, so yeah, this is I guess the new bedroom stuff. Like you are actually sitting in the bed on your phone, which as far as I'm aware, you cannot do right now. This one a new a new bed as well. Um, looks like a overflowing laundry basket there. Nice junk on the floor. New bookcase, some neon lights. New uh, clothes rack there as well. Lots of new like artwork and posters and stuff. Any little hidden details. Thinking about boba tea, very nice. New uh, computer and setup too, by the way, was that an ultra wide display 
and like a webcam on top of that as well. Yeah, cool. All right, let's have a look at the trailer again because there was so much going on. All right, so here we are at prom night again. It looks nice. Everyone's sort of dancing. Like there's a lot of Sims dancing. <laughs> I'm curious to see if we have this many. Look, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but we all saw how my wedding stories went. Um, hopefully they all dance together like this because this is that's really that's really cute all right we have like a whole bunch of scenes happening right here we got to go back through these all right so from the prom we go to what looks like probably the town center of this world maybe like a park it doesn't look like it's an actual lot because these pathways are looking like world pathways so probably a, like an open space in the world you can see public bathrooms in the back there as well but they can sit down looks like they're probably studying together he's also got some leg hair look at that let's go they also, I guess boba tea is probably a thing. I'm going to guess that's what that is. This looks like it is an actual lot as well, because those are windows that we can use. And that looks like columns. It doesn't look like a shell, so that's potentially an actual lot in game. Although the roof is a little different, so I'm, I guess I'm skeptical. But it potentially is a lot. I'm not sure. This, however, is not. <laughs> All right, next. So we're on the field. Got the cheerleaders. Big scoreboard in the back there. I love this area this whole vibe very cool i hope we actually see some like sporting activities out here i don't know if we'll get like a full-on football game but even just like passing it uh, passing the ball kicking it around you know that kind of stuff would be cool huge mascot guy hanging out here on what looks like the pier and there's the ferris wheel behind there very cool there's a lot of stuff going on i just it looks really cool and then this i don't know what this is <laughs> I don't know what this I'm just looking in the background. I mean, maybe this is where you get the boba tea from. A lot of people hanging out here. Oh, this is a good shot. This is a great shot. This looks... Oh, my headphones just fell on my back. <laughs> this looks incredible. Hang on, I gotta move again. I keep getting in the way. This looks incredible. I love this area. So we've got... There's that big mascot guy. Obviously the big Ferris wheel there. Uh, it doesn't look like you can really... Yeah, I wonder... You can probably click ride and then they just disappear. Maybe. If that... But clearly you can't see in it. Just very nice aesthetic though. And then like, what is this? A house of love or something here? And then like a haunted house next to it. I like that too. It's a cool area. I do, I'm not seeing like a lot here unless these are, but it kind of doesn't look like it. Maybe further back. It's kind of hard to tell from here, but that's such a cool area. I'm literally going through this video frame by frame. Okay, we've got another shot of a bedroom here. Lots of junk everywhere. I wonder if that's purely just placed. It's probably just placed, but... It'd be nice if it's sort of, if there's like a messy sim, it just sort of accumulates, but probably not. <laughs> Very colorful bedroom, lots of neon lights, lots of new posters by the looks of it too, which is actually really nice because often I'm trying to like decorate a kid's room or a teen's room and it, it, there's just not enough posters. And we've got a new, well, we've got this little desk area here with a bunch of like sort of clutter on it. Yeah, there's that clothes hanger again. I like this clothes rack here too. That's really nice. Oh, and of course the new rug that he's like walking onto. Big llama on it, of course. All right, so this is a high school, I think quite clearly. Hey, I have a question actually that I obviously can't answer, but look at this. This is a screenshot that we saw, right? Look at the shape of the building, okay? And look where the stairs and stuff are. This is what's in the trailer. It looks like the same building or same location, but I can't, I'm not sure. Like it's obviously the same aesthetic. Like you look at the door, it's the same door area. That one is taller. So, I mean, it could be completely different. They look very similar. So I am wondering if maybe they have like, you know, an eco lifestyle, you could change the community lots. I wonder if you can change the school to a different aesthetic that way, or maybe there's just multiple, but it just looks really similar. So um, yeah, I'm wondering, that's interesting. Yeah, here's a school. I do really love this little art deco detail on the top of the school. Oh, you can see in the background here, that's where the big scoreboard is. So the, the big field is out the back of the school, which makes a lot of sense. All right, walking into the school, let's go. Ah, oh, teacher. Or maybe principal or something. They're in a pretty formal outfit. Looks like there's some like awards and act. Oh, they've got a loudspeaker system in the school. <laughs> All right, so we've got the hallway. Now this is actually, yeah. So I guess this also leans into the idea of maybe the school is the same lot, but you can change the look of it. Whether like manually or there's like an option just to change the style and it swaps the lot type. Because if you look at this scene, you know, it's clearly the same area that they've redesigned for each of this. So I'm wondering if there's like a thing in gameplay that changes it. Or, or what? Anyway, let's go back through these because there's a lot to unpack. We've got like a punk sim, a sporty sim, a couple of vending machines back there. I do like the indoor planters in this one too. I really like the lockers as well, especially like, yeah, it looks like inside the locker you can like customize that, maybe like stickers and stuff on the front too. And here's another version of the school, very green themed. 
a couple of vending machines over there this time. Lots of like wall decorations as well and posters and all that kind of stuff. A couple of Sims making out, sitting on the floor, cross-legged on a phone. Very cool. Reading a book, like standing in the back. Actually, no, she was writing, maybe doing homework or something. New bench back there. Ah, oh, hairspray. Let's go. Style icon. She, they. They look sick is what I'll say. Let's go back. All right, so classroom. This is cool. Very cool. I hope that this is actually fun to, to go to class. <laughs> but it looks incredible. Like this looks like what I want to see when I build a school in The Sims. So that is great. Ooh, I wonder what this math is. Are they doing some derivatives and calculus or is that just probability? <laughs> I don't know. It's been a long time since I've done math, so. Okay, let's place our bets. How long until you're sitting in class and then The Sims decide to just stand up <laughs> and gather around at the front of class instead of sitting in their chairs and then just doing push-ups in the middle of the room? How long? How long do you reckon that's gonna take to happen? <laughs> oh no, someone put a prank on the board. I guess that's probably one of the pranks. <laughs> uh, hangman with a poop. Very nice. Classic. Molly, principles, <clears throat> not daughter. Pain in the, oh no they didn't. Oh, they nearly said a bad word. <laughs> that's funny though. All right, got a Rubik's cube added to the game. Very cool. So this is the cafeteria by the looks of it, which is something that I said was coming. Oh, I like the use of the platforms back here in the background. That's very nice. Like sort of almost like a stage. Oh yeah, so I have like a little sort of buffet area, probably similar to the university one. That's very nice. Oh, I like those plants too. Kevin, socially awkward romantic. Oh. The cheerleading squad vending machine there. Yeah, that's that little stage I was talking about. That's cool. I like that. Mr. Popular, philosopher, overachiever, curious. Oh, I'm, I'm like right on top of it. Curious. <laughs> Very cool. Hang on. Back, back, back. Here we go. Okay. Got an overview of potentially a different neighborhood than where the pier is. But this looks like, so down here looks like where we saw them hanging out earlier. And this looks like the lot, probably this is the other side of it. I think it's a lot. I'm going to be honest, I still can't be 100% certain, but it's got a lot of stuff that looks like a lot. There's like a glass roof up there. Still not sure how this is done. I don't know if that's like a new feature maybe. Because there's two different heights here, which is fine. That could potentially be platforms, but I don't think there's, is there a platform edge that looks like that? Maybe there is. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. But yeah, no, I think that's a lot. It's probably like a, a library or like something. Kind of hard to tell. Next, oh, whoa, that was quick. Back. Okay, so this, clearly that's not a building, but there's probably like some little shop or something in there or like a shell kind of thing. If we go back actually, you can see, I think it's just down here. Yeah, because I think, yeah. So there's that building here. If we go back a couple of frames, you can see it's just over here. That's down there, so we're looking over that way. Cool, so that's there. That's a statue. And I think that's that same sort of town holy building in the, in the back there. Hang on, back. There's a lot of a lot of frame. Ooh, that's cute. <laughs> that's a cute little one. I like the mountains in the background. So we're on the pier here, out by a nice big lake too, by the looks of it. There's a bridge over a little river. There's a couch there, interesting. <laughs> nice and comfy. Ah, influencer wall, yeah! Let's influence. Yeah, she also has some acne too. Yeah, that's cool. So there's definitely a, some sort of system going on there for that. After school, activitize. So this is a lot as well by the looks of it because we can clearly see inside of it. It's a bathroom. Looks like a clothing store, which would be very cool if a thing. Or it's like maybe a miscellaneous store. They're just kind of uh, like, almost like a cafe, like from uh, Get Together. So I wonder if that's what it is. Same sort of, or I guess boba tea shop. Yeah, definitely boba. <laughs> oh my gosh, how am I only 48 seconds into this? How long is this video gonna be? <laughs> okay, we gotta, we gotta move on. This is cool though, detention, let's go. Yeah, so she got busted for pranking the board. That's pretty funny actually. <laughs> I love that. This is great though. I, I want to see this. Let's go back. You know, oh, there's a running track and there is a sim running on it. If there's an interaction to like run laps, that would be sick. Uh, Cause it'd be good exercise, obviously build a skill. Oh, there's like huge bleachers over there too. Sick. <laughs> That's so cool. I like the idea of the cheerleading squad as well. That's very cool. Yeah, there's the bleachers. I mean, I guess I completely missed it. What? This is why we gotta go back. There's so much to see. There's a sim running around the track there as well. Ah, oh, the hottie. Yeah, that's... That's why I, I missed it the first time. This guy, Whew, hot. <laughs> yeah, that guy agrees. All right, hang on, let's go back. Back, 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 back. What do you reckon that says? Something pier? Cool pier, no. I'm sure they'll tell us what it actually is called, but I'm trying to guess. It's got something to do with this mascot guy. I, I don't know what it's called though. <laughs> Some fireworks in the background there as well. Hang on, here we go. We got a good shot overhead. So there's the love house. So yeah, there's a couple, I guess that's like probably a boba tea stand kind of thing. 
Ice cream shop, very nice. This would be a really nice place to have like a date in The Sims, I reckon. That's probably what this is for, you know? A lot of people on their phones, which is very accurate to real life. <laughs> that is a thing now. I like the goopy spooky house in the back. Yeah, so we've got the ice cream shop. Hang on, walk it back. Look at that ice cream. Look at that ice cream. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, we've got the photo booth as well, which is very cool. Nice to see that back. Hopefully we can actually see these photos. Ah, oh, ghost photo. Clown photo. Yeah, ghosted. All right, then we got the prom prosals. The prom, the prom prosal, prom, po prom posal? <laughs> I don't know. Prom is not a thing in Australia, so I don't know. Okay, so they're going into the haunted house. Head. Now this looks cool. Probably is n like nothing in the sense that I don't think we'd be able to see inside it, right? Like I think it's just... I think you go in and then they come out with a, a moodlet or something. All right, so bedroom. I like this bedroom. Very cool. And this one. Wait, actually, hang on. There's there's a lot. Don't cut away. Oh, hanging egg chair. Yes. Sick. <laughs> a lot of awards, achievements, all that kind of stuff up there. A lot of empty boba teas too, by the way. And is that a cow plant? What is that? <laughs> and then over here, we've got presumably like a beanbag-ish chair. Almost. Actually, you know what how I was saying you have to play specific windows? This is a new window. This looks like, given by how, look how deep that is, it looks like this window opens and you can sneak out of it. I'm guessing. Very cool bedroom there as well. And another bedroom, a bunch of stuff going on in here. Oh my gosh, multi-monitor display, yeah! Multi-monitor setup and a little speaker there as well, actually. Nice new computer details, new door. I mean, there's a bunch of new stuff. I'm not gonna point out everything new. Um, looking for any little nuggets of excitement. I do like this little ottoman, that's cool. Okay, let's have a look at this. So it's always hard to tell when they do things like this in a trailer if it is like actual in gameplay stuff. Like this is something that happens, like you get, I mean, it looks like upvotes and downvotes, you know? Um, I, I mean, they're talking about a system of becoming popular and influencers. So there's probably something, no, that's not a downvote, that's like, that's like, I don't know, like a shy emoji or something? I don't know. It probably won't look like that, I'm gonna guess, but there might be a, some sort of system where you gain followers. But then again, I don't know what the difference between this and um, like City Living and Get Famous is, but I guess we'll see. Walk into bed. Oh, hang on, back, back. Leg hair. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so yeah, just so we're clear as well. So obviously there's a body hair in this expansion pack, but they did say the body hair is coming in an update in base game, I think for everyone. So it's not, I, I, there'll probably be more options with this expansion pack, but there should be some for everyone with base game as well. So that's cool to know. Do you like the dirty clothes piles that they're adding? Very nice. <laughs> a lot of beds, a lot of changing. Okay, back in school, walking down the hallway. Prom posals. Prom, oh God, I can't say that fast. Prom posal. <laughs> Prom posals. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that, is, that is actually really cool. I, I do like that feature. Oh, the rejections are gonna be sweet, aren't they? <laughs> they're gonna be sweet. Okay, I wonder how big you can go. Can we can we get like a, a flash, oh my gosh, flash mob promposal at the pier, please. That's gotta happen, right? <laughs> okay, so then, yeah, we got, I guess learning to shave is a thing. I actually wonder how that works, because he, he's shaving, so I wonder if there's like an actual beard system, because like what happens when he shaves? Does it disappear and then tomorrow it comes back? How does that work? I'm interested. I am definitely interested. It would also be nice if they had like a hair system that just grows. I don't know how that would work. Anyway, that's an aside. <laughs> Sneaking out. Oh no, you cut yourself. Oh, this is very cool. Actually, hang on, let's go back. I'm just trying to see. It doesn't look, I was just trying to see if that screenshot we saw was just mid animation, but it doesn't look like she'd have both legs up there. Okay, I was just checking. It is she. I was making sure I get the pronouns right because that is a big part of these characters. Yeah, it doesn't look like she'd have both legs up there at the same time. So there hopefully is just a hangout animation sitting on that. Ooh, I like that, the climbing down the lattice. I guess, I guess that must act as like a, a ladder. Oh yeah, it, it totally is a ladder. You can, <laughs> you can totally see how that works. There must be like, I think these are two different ladders because like you, you can almost see the seam in between them. And then that's probably like a decorative one to blend it in. That is cool. I, I like how they've done that. <laughs> <laughs> the little sneak animation, that's great. That's so cool. All right, walk into prom, let's go. Is that a different school again? Or is that the, no, I think this is the, actually, this looks like the, maybe the back of the school. Maybe the, the, the field is that way. I wonder where this is. Is this like a different building or is this just like, I don't, I don't know, there's so many questions. Oh my gosh, hang on. You can't, you can't flick through prom like that. <laughs> hang on. This is my special night. This is the one night of my life where everything has to go perfectly, okay? And I gotta check it all out. Looks like there's a big screen up there. I don't know if that's like gonna have, maybe that's where you, oh, maybe you do like photos and pin it up. I have no idea. This is making stuff up. We should probably keep looking. <laughs> so look, you know, I'm gonna guess that they're using, I'm putting it out there, that they're using the eco lifestyle changeable lots to have these different styles. Cause 
these are very different looking proms. Like the, the the underlying structure looks pretty similar. Like you can see like the layout. This could just be a trailer thing though. This could also just be a trailer, but I they seem to be going to a lot of effort to show different schools, different hallways, where that would be weird if the only way to change it was to go into build mode and do it manually, you know? So I am curious about that. Is this a gaming prom? That is sick. Now that's my prom. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, there's guitars on stage. Is there, is there bands? There's literally no mention of it, so I don't wanna get my hopes up, but that could just be for looks. <laughs> but if there is, I mean, there's a guitar up there as well. I, I, I mean, it could just be regular guitar, but I don't know, it seems like it could be a thing. <laughs> and all the Sims dancing and hanging out. Let's go, enjoy prom. Oh, so many followers, let's go. I guess that's probably the, the prankster award. I, I guess if you pull the most pranks off, you probably get that. And then it's, I guess, the popularity. Very fun. So you can, I guess, aspire to achieve those things throughout your school year. Now, one thing I'll note though, is these are some dang Hollywood looking teenagers, if I've ever seen them. I don't remember anyone looking like that in high school. <laughs> no one looks like that. She looked like she's in her thirties. Like what? <laughs> I mean, no offense, but like, this, this is like TV show high school right here. <laughs> Now this looks like a rambunctious party. That better be a, something other than juice, you know? <laughs> pillow fights, very cool. I do like the pillow fight thing. That, that, that'll be fun. Ah, oh, mirror. <laughs> I had to know. Mirror, yeah. All right, then the graduation ceremony. It looks like, I wonder if this is also in the gym or if that's just a different place. It's, it's hard to tell, honestly. I'm so excited to learn more. I didn't realize how long I would be recording this reaction, but it's honestly so much that is exciting me about this. Yeah, so graduation ceremony there. Walking down in the town, hanging out right there. Now this is somewhere, I have no idea where this is. Is this like some abandoned cabin where teens like go to hang out and like have a romantic spot or something like that? Or is this like an abandoned summer camp where there's like an ax wielding maniac? <laughs> could be something, could be one of those things. Beautiful looking world though. Looks like there's some sort of party going on. Hang on, back here. Generic party, showing off his Rubik's Cube skills. And then, Hang out, this looks like maybe the pier area again, or near it. That's definitely up here. Oh, you know what, actually, I didn't realize, I didn't realize we could go here. Not that I would, but like if we go back, like way back. Actually, I, I can't find it. There was a scene where you can see it in the background though. So it, this could be a pretty like big space, like in the world to explore and do things around. I mean, it seems like there is a lot of like points of interest, kind of almost like in the werewolf pack where the world feels pretty full because there's a lot of different points to go to and do things at. So it seems like the world could actually be pretty interactive in that sense. So another little sort of town center area. I really like the, the sort of small town feel that it seems to be going for. It looks really, I'm really excited to see the world and see how the actual school system works. Yeah, this little sort of small town. I, <laughs> I love this. Very nice. Shine bright. All right. Well, that was one heck of a trailer reaction and, and breakdown. I, I really didn't expect to be going this deep into it. Normally we, we sort of don't go too deep into all of that, but I'm honestly very excited to learn more about this pack and see how much we can actually get up to. And having said that, I'm really not sure who we're gonna do a let's play with because Nina and Angus are obviously werewolves and adults. Do we try to have kids with, with one of them or both of them before this pack? Or my other plan was to actually have Reginald Big Wallet continue the bloodline. Maybe he has some kids we set up a family. Like we might not see it. I might just have to do it off camera. So we start, Reginald has a partner and some kids, preferably teenagers, and we play as a family with him. Because I was going to use him in the werewolves gameplay. We didn't end up doing that. So I still feel like we could sort of use his character in another way in the background. But please let me know in the comments down below about that. Although that's probably going to get disappeared. I'll do a community post about that because I feel like this video tends to have a lot of comments about the expansion. So yeah, I'll do a community tab post about that. So we'll figure that out. But thank you so much for watching this breakdown. I got to spend a bunch of time editing this now because <laughs> I didn't think it was going to take me this long, but that was so so cool. Fingers crossed that it actually ends up being sick and awesome and fun because it looks great. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.